Hey, Husky fans, welcome into a different special NIU Weekly. I'm Andy Garcia, alongside the Associate Vice President and Director of Athletics, Sean T. Frazier of NIU. And Sean, great to be with you. I miss you. I wish I was on campus. I wish we had activities, but uh, we just got to get through this thing, right? Yeah, it's true, Andy. I do. I miss you too, man. This uh, non-tactile world that we <laughs> live in right now is, you know, I'm a hugger. And uh, yeah, I do miss people. And uh, yeah, this is tough. This is real tough. How is everybody in DeKalb? How are you able to connect with the uh, student athletes uh, around this time? Yeah, it's uh, it's it's all virtual. You know, it's this electronic media. Um, we have lots of meetings uh, through our computers, uh, through our phones. Um, so it's been a lot of uh, meeting after meeting, video chats, uh, phone calls. Uh, but yeah, you know, it, 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 the, the, there's a spirit there. There's a husky spirit with our student athletes, our staff. Our community, uh, we're we're definitely coming together even even more so during this process. That that's some of the benefits in this crisis is that people really are showing their their heartfelt support and understanding during this time. We're now going to go into a second month of uh, shelter in place going into May after the announcement from Governor Pritzker. What's the biggest challenges for you with NIU athletics and what you guys have to do right now? Yeah, I think the biggest challenges is trying to make sure this e-learning, you know, this electronic media e-learning process that the campus has gone to, uh, uh, it continues to have uh, good things uh, and some challenging things. The challenging things uh, are that uh, this is a new medium for a lot of our student athletes, a lot of our, our faculty and staff uh, and then that poses challenges as, as it relates to t uh, picking up some of the, the information, um, making sure that comprehension is there, uh, just on the educational side. And then, you know, this whole normal component of uh, of getting to know or have nonverbal conversation, you don't have that opportunity in this situation. You know, uh, the benefits have been is that the online tutoring, the one-on-one -on -one support, the ability to cut and start and then end, uh, there, there are some benefits there, but I think the challenges right now is just maintaining uh, what we feel was normal. And now this is the way that we're going to have to do instruction until we get an all safe, clear, uh, uh, healthy safety uh, components are, are, are mandated for us. So the challenges right now is the online education piece and the non-face-to-face -face type format. Again, this is NIU Weekly. Uh, this is the first edition. Andy Garcia alongside Shanti Frazier. We're going to be joined by different head coaches moving forward. And our first one's going to be Husky head football coach Thomas Hammock coming up in just a couple minutes. Just a couple more questions with Sean Frazier as we talk about what's going on with NIU athletics at this time. And Sean, I know you're in a lot of meetings uh, with everybody, internal, uh, you know, outside, external of NIU. What have you been involved with with all these meetings? Well, it goes from, you know, sun up to sundown. You know, we start early in the morning, 6.30, 7 o'clock, and we go way in the evening with virtual, you know, kind of uh, uh, hosting virtual uh, receptions and cocktail parties and different things like that just to get some type of normal uh, uh, interactions with folks. Uh, yeah, I think that the, the meetings have been good. Uh, they start with, you know, our internal staff, with our senior staff, with our coaches, with our student athletes. And then uh, across campus, we have meetings uh, with senior cabinet, with President Freeman. Uh, so, again, just the organization, the connectivity of it, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of information, right? So we get lots of information, we download it, we make sure we distribute that information across the, the campus and the community, as well as nationally. You know, we're meeting uh, with our conference, with the MAC. Uh, with our ADs, our commissioners, and we're talking about process and procedure there. And then nationally, I'm on a number of listserv chats, uh, virtual meetings, talking about the trends, talking about if we're going to continue this stay-at-home order in the state of Illinois, uh, all across the country. So lots of conversations about modeling different things that could be or might be, uh, and lots of discussions about how people are doing what they're doing with the e-learning and just ba basic operations at their various campuses. So a lot of stuff there, Andy, I'll be able to kind of drill down on some of that, but uh, a, a lot of uncertainty right now, very fluid yeah. situation right now. Yeah, we missed that on, on spring brawl, spring ball in the, in the spring game and all that, but you've got some virtual activities coming up. I want to talk about the summer circuit, but also the virtual victory bash. It's going to be still a huge event for NIU, even if it's going to be virtual. Yeah, no question about it. Uh, you know, we, we were really hope, hoping for, for the victory 
victory bash, the first of it, and kind of a, we morphed from the victory ball to the bash, and we really wanted that face-to-face -face contact. But we totally understand this. Uh, we're going to be nimble about this. We're going to have some fun with it. Uh, online auctions and different presentations and talking about the, the future with the new normal, as well as some of the things we do uh, 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 just on, to support our student athletes and to support our operations. So yeah, I, we we're excited about it. I don't want to give it too much away, but it's going to be exciting for our fans, our supporters, our alumni uh, to have some interaction and, and at the same time, support the student athlete experience. And I think that, you know, that's what it's all about when it comes right now. I know NIU has been great on social media, getting different highlights from the past and staying in communication with students and seeing what they're doing on TikTok. Uh, it's been a, a huge thing. So I had the chance to talk to you. Let's bring in Husky Set football coach Thomas Hammock and, and give him a chance to, to join us and uh, hear what, uh, what football has been up to. Coach, great to see you. I miss you just as much as I miss Sean. I wish we had <laughs> a little fall, a little spring football, but uh, – Great to talk to you. I hope everybody's good, the family. And just tell us what you've been up to. Well, uh, it's, been, it's been quite a lot. It seemed like, uh, you know, they, they gave us the, the order to stay at home, but you become more busy. Um, <laughs> but we, we found some creative ways uh, as a football staff to uh, try to continue to improve, uh, to improve our football team, uh, to improve recruiting. Uh, so we've been working uh, diligently. Uh, we've been working extremely hard um, to make sure that, you know, whenever uh, football comes back, uh, you know, we can hit the ground running. And, and I've talked to my, my staff. I've talked to uh, my team. Uh, I said it's like the Kentucky, uh, Kentucky Derby. You know, when everybody gets in that gate, uh, whenever the whistle blows, you got you to come out uh, running. And uh, we certainly trying to do everything possible to put us in a, in a situation where we can get that done. How much have you been able to communicate with your team and, and talk to the players? You said you've talked to the staff a lot. How much have you been able to talk to the team? Has it been like Zoom? Has it been virtual uh, rooms like this? Yeah, it's been it's been Zoom. It's been uh, you know FaceTime. I think you know we we've made a, a conscious effort to talk to our, our student athletes uh, individually uh, in group settings. Um, so you know we have position meetings. Uh, we have non-football meetings uh, where we talk about life. Uh, you know, we have meetings to talk about the NFL draft. Uh, we have meetings to talk about the last dance. Uh, you know, we've had some excellent speakers uh, talk to our team. Yeah. Uh, so we've tried to make it um, very interactive, uh, different, not just all football, but uh, life. Um, and I think it's important that we continue to talk to our young men uh, and, and stay engaged with them uh, during this time. Because I think uh, it's something that they need. Uh, you're talking about guys that have been in a routine probably since they was 10, 11 years old, uh, and trying to make sure we can keep that routine as consistent as possible is something that we felt was very important uh, for the well-being of our football team. Sean? Yeah, it, you know, it, Coach, just to help, help Husky Nation uh, give them a picture about what has been the biggest challenge to this. There, there's been a lot of challenges, but what's been the biggest challenge for you and your staff right now and just reaching with you know uh, uh talking with your with your kids and talking with uh, uh uh your coaching staff well um the biggest challenge has been uh the uncertainty right uh we you know as coaches we and administrators uh we are constantly planning uh constantly putting plans in place uh you know my, my schedule has been mapped out for a year we map out uh you know uh spring summer fall camp, January. Uh, so just the, uh, the, the, the period to say, okay, now, you know, we are unsure when things are going to go back to normal, but we have to have a plan in place. Uh, and so we put a couple different models together uh, as far as uh, re-engaging our football team. We put an eight-week plan together. Uh, we put a six-week plan together. We put a four-week plan together. And so we just trying to make sure, you know, a favorite uh, quote of mine is, is uh, stay prepared so you don't have to get prepared. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a football staff, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, but that's probably been the biggest challenge. Uh, the second probably biggest challenge has been uh, our, our student athletes. Uh, you know, a lot of them are being uh, directly impacted through their families, uh, you know, with this virus and, and dealing with that and trying to uh, be there uh, for solace, uh, trying to be a mentor, uh, trying to help them through this time uh, over the phone. It's a lot different over the phone or FaceTime than being able to talk and engage. Uh, so we've tried to make sure uh, we keep open lines of communication. 
Uh, we want the players to understand, hey, you can call us at any time. Uh, you know, we got a couple of players that live on the East Coast and, and they right in the, uh, in, in, the, in, in the middle of the storm. Um, but we've tried to make sure they understand, hey, you guys can call us and talk to us. Uh, no matter what, we are here for you guys and uh, we want to be a support system. Again, this is NIU Weekly Special Edition, our first edition, Andy Garcia alongside Sean T. Frazier, and joined this week by the Husky head football coach, Thomas Hammock. And, and coach, I've seen on social media, and Sean and I were talking about it before you got on, uh, you've got your players doing different things, different workouts on social media. I saw one guy pulling a truck. I don't know what kind of uh, workout that is, uh, but I see a different things on social media and all that. But uh, how interesting and how cool is it to see your guys out there working hard and, and, and trying to show it and have some fun on social media? Well, you know, uh, this offseason, we created the Husky Challenge uh, and basically is another form of, of accountability for our program. And, and it's all encompassing. It's classwork, it's study tables, uh, it's, it's, it's eating right, it's your weight, it's the weight room, it's working out. Uh, and so during, during the first week, we said, you know, we got to get back to making sure uh, we can, you know, keep the standards of the Husky Challenge. Uh, so Coach Knapp did, did a great job of figuring out a way to uh, make sure our players understand, hey, we're still tracking uh, the Husky Challenge. We got team points. We got individual points. Uh, and some of those challenges involve uh, working out. So, you know, some guys came up with some creative workouts. I seen uh, <laughs> one guy doing curls with chairs. I thought that was fantastic. Guys are chopping down trees and, and everything else. But we wanted to make sure we can, uh, can continue to stay with our consistent message. Uh, uh, everything counts. Everything's important. And uh, we're going to continue to track and monitor because as coaches, that's our responsibility. Sean? Yeah, you're, you know, it's, it's funny. I, just, I chuckle about the – I think that's a great creative way. That's one of the creative ways to show that uh, the student athletes are committed to their craft, right, is, is making sure they're prepared. There's no substitute for daily preparation, right? So, so the whole idea there, uh, uh, to my question, Coach, is that as you kind of evaluate this, you know, what's the best case scenario for you? You know, let's put it out there. What's the best case scenario uh, based on those plans and, and other things? I think people would like to hear, you know, what your recommendations would be on return back to football. Well, I think, you know, first and foremost, I think the, the big thing is uh, we want it to be safe for everybody and safe for our players. Uh, and I think that's the most important thing during this time. Uh, and then whenever uh, things get back to normal and people feel confident and safe, I think, you know, we just need a date, uh, but we feel very confident that we have a nice uh, ramp-up schedule uh, as far as getting our players prepared, uh, getting them uh, where they can stay healthy, because I think that's the biggest thing um, that you look at. You know, when, when guys are uh, deconditioned for an, experience, uh, an, an extended uh, period of time, it's going to take some time to get them back into, mm -hmm. hey, you know, you did some running, now your hamstrings sore, your quads are sore. Uh, so we want to make sure we, we have the right type of program. Uh, and I've been on Coach Napoli uh, about doing research uh, and, and finding the right program. And the great thing about this time is that during this time, uh, there's so many coaches going through the same thing. Uh, they're willing to share information. You know, normally coaches want to hoard information uh, and not communicate with one another. But because this is something that's unprecedented, uh, nobody has ever been through this before. You got coaches giving us every detail of, of how they're going to implement different things. And I think it's fantastic uh, because, you know, when you get to the game, we are all competitors. Uh, but doing something like this, we have to work together uh, for the betterment of the game, uh, for the betterment of athletics, uh, that we come up with the right pl plan of action to make sure we can slowly reintroduce uh, you know, sports uh, to young people. It's a great point that everybody's kind of in this together and, you know, it helps that everybody can get involved and help everybody out until you get on the playing field, right? Until it's uh, time to get between the, the lines, but it's great that everybody's helping out. Academic wise, how are the student athletes ever able to get help and how has that process been where not to be able to be at school, but still have to, to work in the, uh, in the academic department? Well, since, since we don't have football, we have been on the academics nonstop. So uh, we've had a lot more time, uh, to have academic meetings. Uh, we've had the, the, um, the SAS department in our position meetings uh, to make sure that we reinforce how important academics are. You come here to be a student athlete. You watch the draft last night. Uh, you look at the draft. There's only a small percentage of, uh, of young people or young men 
um, that have an opportunity to play at the next level. Uh, so we want to make sure we have them prepared for the next 40 uh, to 50 years of their life. Uh, and that degree is so important. And I think, you know, I think we have an outside chance uh, to have the best semester ever. I think guys are really working hard, looking at the grades. I think uh, I'm excited about what they're doing. And, and what I try to explain to them is, if we can trust you in the classroom, we can trust you on third down. We can trust you uh, in the fourth quarter um, because all those things go hand in hand and uh, we, we don't want to shortcut any steps. John? Yeah, you know, I, I think those are all very good points. You know, academics, uh, uh, you, you uh, lead by example with that. You know, being an academic All-American while you were here uh, NIU, so we, we really do appreciate that. Well, t you know, tell Husky Nation what's going on with your, with your personal life a little bit. You know, we, we're talking about everything that's going on. I know you got some beautiful kids, you got a beautiful wife. You know, what is going on? What is going on in the hammock house? Because I, I, I think that's very important for people want to know what is going on in the real boss, the real yeah. boss, your wife. What is happening? Let, let us know. That's a, that's, a, that's a great question. You know, you spend, you know, I spent the last 18 years on a, on a strict regiment. And, uh, you know, sometimes you're, your, your wife don't, you know, they, they, they got to get used to you being home like this. So, you know, I, I tell her every day, I'm just trying to love you, you know, <laughs> I'm just trying to love you. And, uh, you know, that put that puts her at ease uh, in the sense that, you know, what can you say after that? Uh, so, you know, I've been doing dishes, I've been cleaning up, you know, I, I've been doing my part to make sure, you know, that, you know, everything is copacetic. Uh, and then as far as my kids, you know, I, the, the big thing that I realized uh, just watching them work on their schoolwork and things like that. You need that out, outside, outdoor, fresh air. Uh, so we, we go on a bike ride every day through the neighborhood and they can have a chance to stretch their legs out and uh, kind of keep that normalcy uh, so when they can focus. And I think that's important because, you know, if I see it with my own kids, I'll, you know, I can imagine what the players are going through as well. So uh, we just try to keep things normal. But the big thing, I just tell her, you know, I'm just trying to love you today. You know, for 24 hours, I'm trying to love you. I wake up the next day and tell her the same thing. Good. Well, that's good. I'm trying. I'm trying. Trust me. So crazy. Uh, NIU Weekly, Andy Garcia, alongside Sean T. Frazier and the Husky set football coach, Thomas Hammock. And, and Coach, you know, spring is very important for recruiting as well. You usually have junior days. Uh, we'll find out more about what's going to happen with summer camps. Uh, but I know you guys are remaining busy on the recruiting trail as well. Yeah, I think that's a that's a big thing uh, during this time. I mean, we spent, you know, I can't tell you how many hours we spent evaluating players. And I think that, you know, all that time is, is, is paying dividends uh, with the class that we have. And I think the great thing about it is, you know, we've had so much prior information having been here uh, a year in the program, knowing guys that we've identified that uh, are guys that play the way we want them to play, uh, having track times, having – uh, camp times. Our camp last year was huge for us. Uh, we got 12 commitments right now. Uh, so we, we are really attacking uh, the recruiting uh, and really building the foundation of our team moving forward. You know, with the class that we signed and the class uh, that we got coming in, uh, we have a great foundation. And what I tried to explain to our staff is this summer, we're not going to have that same information. Uh, we're not going to have, you know, camp times and track times and, and different things like that. So we're going to be uh, strategic in our approach to try to sign a bigger class this year, uh, knowing that we're going to have less information next year. One final question for you before uh, Sean and I wrap it up, coaches. Just their message to Husky fans. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of just people wondering what's going on out there and what's the future hold for NIU football. When are we going to play? What's your message just to the fans, where we are right now here at the end of April, and uh, just your, your, your message to what you want to get out? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, if you want to see football uh, come back as soon as possible, you know, we got to stay safe. We got to keep social distancing. Uh, we got to make sure we're doing the things necessary that, you know, we can enjoy Husky football like we used to. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, during this time, it, it really makes you appreciate uh, NIU, NIU football, uh, NIU athletics, uh, because, you know, sometimes people take things for granted. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and then you take things for granted until it's not there or you can't have it or you can't touch it. So, you know, we're going to be ready uh, when the time comes uh, as a football program, as a football staff. We, we are constantly in uh, professional development mode. Uh, but, you know, for the time being, let's stay safe as a, as a community. Uh, let's stay safe as a nation. And, uh, you know, we can't wait to get back out there. 
Well, I know we're all excited. I think we all kind of know that if football can get back, then we're kind of back to a little bit of normalcy. And I know we're getting ready. And, uh, man, we're really excited about the 2020 season for NIU football. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get through everything and everything can be on time and on schedule. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys get a little spill the summer and some uh, fall camp in and be ready for the schedule. Be ready for the season. Go Huskies. Go Huskies. <laughs> That's Thomas Hammock. Appreciate the time, Coach. Thank you very much. You know, it's interesting, right, Sean? I mean, uh, yeah. it's it's interesting the time that we're going through and uh, and what you've seen from your coaches and what you've seen from your staff as to what they brought. It's an, We've never gone through this, right, Sean? We've just never gone through anything like this. Yeah, I know. It's tough. You hear it in his voice. Uh, you know, I, I, I regularly meet with the coaches, uh, talk to them, having video tra- chats. And this is, un, like you said, uh, uncharted territory. And uh, we really have to reach deep in our soul right now to understand what we have. And like he said, too, you know, you know, really appreciate what we have, because I think a lot of times that uh, we take that for granted, you know, and I, and I think in this situation, you know, health and safety is job one, you know, health and safety is job one. You know, we got to stay home to stay safe. And I've, I've been echoing that message. But I think where our coaches right now, the uncertainty of going into the summer, going into the fall, and not really knowing if we're going to have face-to-face instruction, if we're going to have a fall team. Um, the, the thing I would say to folks is that, you know, keep the faith. Uh, this too shall pass. Um, we will get through this. we got a strong resolve. You know, NIU alumni, NIU supporters, NIU in general – um, has a real tough chin. And uh, I, I really like that type of uh, grittiness that we have. Uh, and we will get through this. It's just that we just need folks to cooperate and have have faith and patience. It's been great to catch up. It was great to have Coach Hammock on, talk a little football, just kind of take our minds off anything right now and, and just hear a little football. And, and we want to remind fans uh, to check out the videos on the YouTube channel for NIU. It's NIU Athletics. Subscribe, get notifications. Every time a new video is posted, this will be on there. Our other NIU weeklies will be up there, and we'll have a different coach next week. Looking forward to that. And, again, it's just NIU. We're trying to reach out, Sean. We're trying to get out to all the fans and, and let them know we're thinking about you. Stay safe and try to bring you some infotainment as we can. Too. No, and, and I want to say thank you for you, you know, doing this and just being so loyal and so professional. You know, God bless you and your family. Um, uh, that that's uh, that's that's big for us to be able to bring this type of uh, uh, information activity. Um, it's tough for all. We're all dealing with it in one way or the other. Um, so again, it's it's important for us to have our supporters, our our, our Husky faithful, uh, supporting us day in and day out. So thanks a lot, so much, Andy, for what you do. Again, this is the first edition of NIU Weekly Virtual. We'll come back next week. We talked to Coach Hammock today. have another head coach next week. Looking forward to continue this. Hopefully, sooner than later, we'll be able to talk to you in person. But until then, until then we're looking forward to having uh, these types of talks. And, uh, Sean, it was great having you on. And uh, I'll talk to you next week. Thank you, Andy. God bless. Right, go Huskies, everybody. Go Huskies. We'll see you next week on NIU Weekly.